What's going on guys? Welcome back to today's video. Today's video is going to be a little bit different. Um, we got Ghost Order in. Uh, they launched their UK distribution site a little while back. So we're going to do a little bit of a test, a review on their products. So sit back, relax, enjoy. Let's roll the intro and let's get into this. Yeah. Okay then, so let's talk supplements. What supplements do I take at the minute? At the minute I'm taking pre-workout, creatine and protein powder. I only take protein powder when I'm sort of bulking or at maintenance phase. When I'm dieting, I don't take protein. I like to get my protein intake in through natural foods. Do you need to take supplements? Absolutely not. You can get everything in naturally. However, supplements are there to supplement your diet to help you get in foods when you can't so for example protein shakes if you're out on the go in between shifts at work it's like really good quick protein source rather than having to have like a chicken breast or blah 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 so it's quick easy protein so i only take it when i'm bulking because my protein intake is higher so therefore i use it to help get protein in also um, taking protein shakes is quite cost effective in terms of you can get a big bag of protein at a reasonable price rather than buying hundreds of chicken breasts. Brands that I currently use is predominantly my protein. I think their stuff's really good, uh, really cheap, well tested, and always had good reviews and good relationship with my protein. The only thing that I've, I have which is rubbish is their pre workout. I've had two loaves, it's rubbish. So, in here we have the goat of the supplements in my opinion so i already have the Glo ghost cg collab blue lime let's get a little focusing on that that one and the warheads now in my opinion that is my favorite pre-workout i've ever ever had 200 milligrams of caffeine in that one 250 in the guzman one slightly more but that is my favorite pre-workout of all time. I actually had the Goost, goes, uh, Goost? The CG Ghost Collab one, that was a lemon and lime flavor in the, in the black tub. That was really, really good. That was up there with this. In my opinion, it goes this, the old CG one, and then the CG two. All of this is available on the Ghost website in the UK as well. Um, so I already had those, so I ordered a hoodie, some pump, and another pre-workout for Beth. The wrong order totally came. So, the new Ghost Shaker came with two of the sour watermelon pumps. So I'm like, well I ordered one pump, not this, and not the shaker, so this can't be my order, blah, blah, blah. So I've got in contact with um, Ghost, had nothing back not a single response so i'm thinking brilliant my first order on ghost and the wrong order comes so i'm still waiting to hear back from ghost the next day i get a knock at the door bum 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 open it package from ghost i'm thinking i might be lucky here and i bloody was then my actual order turn up of the second uh Warheads for Beth, my pump, and my hoodie. So, I've hit the jackpot here. I've got an extra two tubs of pump and this shaker. Now, if they do respond, to be honest, I'll probably send it back because I feel quite bad. Having said that, they haven't responded yet, so I want to try this pump out. Beth was meant to give me this pump for my birthday, so I've got two here. So I might just, just have a go on one, maybe return one, I don't know. I haven't worked that out. Ghost, maybe it's their way of saying they're sponsoring me. I'll take it, I don't know. Ghost, if you want to come at me, I'll take it. So, when I was in America, I was also lucky enough to pick up this. Ghost Protein Powder. Now, it's only available in the US at the minute. You can't get it on the UK site. When I was in Texas with ads, we picked, we found a store that stocked this, and I went for the blueberry 
blueberry toaster pastry. I am quite a big fan of blueberries. So I thought we'd give this a go. I have not even opened it yet slash tried it. Because like I said, I was dieting, so I didn't really take it while I was dieting. So today we're going to review the uh, protein. We're going to review the pump. And we'll also try on the hoodie in a minute. So let's do it. Right, so we have the hoodie on. Your boy's picked up a large because you're about to get swole and you know it's bulking season. That might be better. So this hoodie, I had a discount code, £40. It is really lightweight and thin. Uh, sort of like a t-shirt material. But super comfortable. I imagine I'll be doing some serious cardio in this. But also, probably rep it on a casual as well. Because I quite like it. It's really low key. Tie up the strings a little bit. I'm, this, I'm really liking this. Middle pocket, pretty standard hoodie. But yeah, what are, you, what are your thoughts on this hoodie? Fits pretty well. I'm working a large. Right then, it is time to try out the protein now. We went a long time. I picked this up about a month ago, and I seriously haven't tried it that long. Uh, the macros are going to do one scoop. Uh, it comes out at 36 and a half grams. I'm still going to weigh it as I'm still tracking. And the macro is five carb, two fat, and 25 proteins. So pretty decent. I always do my shakes, but a little bit of water, and then a little bit of milk. Okay, this is embarrassing. Can't open it. What do you go to the gym for, Riley? Twenty minutes later. I love how all the ghost products they come with like that, so you don't have to dig around for your uh, scoop. Oh my god, it smells amazing! The first taste test of the blueberry toaster crunch. Sweet. If you like sweet protein, that's good. Probably could do a little bit of warm milk, but yeah, that's really sweet, really strong blue taste, but very, very solid. I'm a fan. Out of 10, 7.2. And has a little bit of pastry crunches in, 7.4. Right, quick stuff off at the barbers to get this sorted out. Uh, and then I'm also going to go grab coffee and do some editing. I've got about an hour, a little bit of online work to do. Head back to work for this evening and then I'm going to the gym to hit legs with Toby D. And that's probably when we'll take the pump for the first time and some pre-workout. And just like that, we've had this rascal skin fade. Happy days. I've gone a bit short on the top as well because it's summer and it's hot. Okay, so we're doing pre-workout. We're hitting legs and I've decided I'm not gonna waste my first time trying pump product on a leg day. So I'm coming in to hit pull, pull tomorrow and we'll spin around to pull in a minute and that's when we try and pump product for the first time. What we're gonna do tonight is just do a scoop of the Guzman and a monster. So the monster always goes in first. And a scoop of the goods. So, I'm gonna go in, I'm gonna show you my top set of legs. Like I said, I'm just coming back into that surplus. So we're working out where my strength's at. It's down, obviously, from last year, but we're getting back slowly, so I'm gonna show you my top set, and then we'll spin back round to the gym tomorrow, ready to take that pump. Okay, pre workouts kicking in. Got itchy neck, good sign. Working with 110 top set, 3x3. Three three. I've been doing 3x3s three on all my lids to sort of gauge my strength out. Set 2 and see how it goes. Okay, that's the top set. Set 2. Right then, 
so 24 hours later and we are back at the gym first of all i was actually really happy with that squat for me yesterday uh like i said i'm just trying to gauge where my strength's at again but i've been taking it quite slow making sure my form stays on point i used to squat a lot like a lot pretty much too heavy i'll probably chuck a clip in and drop my knees in and rush the reps and the forms was just all over the show so that 110 moved pretty smooth i mean it's not that heavy but it did move smoothly so i was happy with the form it's pool day and we're about to try the pump i'm excited so it is uh warhead sour watermelon so it should taste exactly the same as the pre which i've already told you that's my favorite pre-workout the serving size is two scoops, so that's what we're going to do. I'm going to give it a little taste test before I add um, some pre-workout because this has got actually no caffeine in it, so I'm going to take a tiny bit of caffeine, but I want to give you a little taste test before I do that. Damn, that's good. Yeah, it just tastes exactly the same as pre-workout. It's actually a little bit weaker than normal, but I'm about to add a scoop of this. I'll also add my creatine as well. I normally just take my creatine in my either my protein shakes or my pre-workouts and stuff just to get it in nice and easy that way if you don't take a tablet form. Right, I'll probably show you a little bit of my pool day, see if we catch a bump, let's hope so. Workout. Pump was real. Right, that's it then. We're wrapping up the Ghost Review here. The Ghost products were wicked. Let me know what your thoughts are on the Ghost products. What do you have? Do you like their products? The pump was decent. To be honest, I was focusing a lot on trying to get some sick angles and film the workout and obviously not getting kicked out because it's quite a new gym and I don't really know if I'm filming there yet. So, Oh, I was trying to focus on that, which took away from my rest time, which meant I didn't get the best pump. So today I'm going to hit an upper session. Actually, it's a push day. Uh, and I'll take a pump. I'm not going to film. So let's see if it works properly. But we'll end off this one. I hope you have enjoyed this video. If it's a random video that you've checked out and you're not familiar with the channel, go and check out some of my other videos. We have a wicked Texas trip. Loads and loads of random content. So yeah, go and check that out. Always, like always, please like this video. Subscribe for more. I hope you'll see you in the next one.